Howdy, everyone. Eenie's 20. It's, uh, uh, April 5th, 2019. 11.03 a.m. And we're doing another Zesty stream. I think this is actually my fifth one now. I think I'm making decent progress. No rest for the Zest. Never. Not resting until this game is done. So, when we last left off, uh, Alicia's gone. Uh, she walked off, and she's gone for the rest of the game. There's only, like, I said this last time, but to, ki to catch people up, there's only one portion of the game coming up really far where she comes back. Until then, she's gone. We'll see her again, but she's no longer going to be in our party. Uh, the game made up an excuse and got rid of her. Anyway, um, and now, uh, there is war breaking out between, uh, what's the place called? The Aquapolis that we were just in for like forever. Uh, and Rollins. Highland and Rollins are going to war. And uh, uh, this place we just healed, the, the, the crazy, unfortunate plague town, Marlin, uh, is in a dangerous spot. It's really close to Glaven Basin where the war is breaking out. And so uh, we're retreating. We're taking all the citizens away from the town to get them somewhere safe. However... Uh, like, Saray wants to take part in a battle, it and you'll just but he can't yourself, because Saray. he's a shepherd. And Lila says say. that whatever side he aids in battle will win the battle, and then the other side will lose. What's that? So they can't let him uh, take part in the fight. Oh, hey, look, a shrine. However, um, that then prompted the uh, Highland portion, this Highland general asshole, to uh, arrest Alicia after she returned to the Aquapolis and they, they're holding her in order to force Saray to fight for them. And so now we're going to Glaven Basin to fight the war on Highland's side. Uh, which we're not supposed to do. Because I mean it's cool and all to think that Rollins is the bad guys, but it's not really that. If you want my exact reasons as to why the war is breaking out, I don't know. I forget what the tensions are. I don't know if it's like trade deals or or whatnot, but uh, there's war and both sides are wrong, basically. I mean, there's no right generally in war. It shouldn't really be that clear cut. But regardless, we now have to help Highland and defeat Roland in order to save uh, Alicia. Also, um, when we came out of the town, we weren't the only ones to come out of town. Neef came with us, all the citizens we helped came with us, and the Sparrow Feathers came with us. So they're right over here. Or at least the, the main two, Agil and Rose. And there's Nath also, all hanging out. I just talked to Rose when I ended the last stream. And uh, the, the Sparrow Feathers are like, that's bullshit. Like, they're, the, the, the general dude is like, he's an asshole. You shouldn't have to go fight if you don't want to, but Saray, he's that kind of guy. You can't just leave Alicia hanging, so off we go. So if you remember, she formed a something called the Squire's Pact to act as Saray's squire. Unfortunately, um, for some reason, uh, having a squire drastically affects Saray's health. And like after that plant boss, we defeated it. It woke up again and started attacking people. And Saray didn't know what was going on because he was like half blind. So like having a having a a squire is drastically it's making him tired, making him weaker, and uh, making him blind. And so they're like, so uh, let's not do that anymore. So Alicia gave up being a squire in order to uh, you know not have Saray. Uh, deteriorate Looks like we win. which is okay I get it from her I mean she didn't say that's why she was leaving but I think we can infer from the fact that she figured out why he was not doing well that that's why Let's she left do this. the actual yeah, reason that on. she said she was leaving was because she needs to help you can't Highland swing your sword and win. like as a princess like she knows that the political around. class is a little overbearing and not and doesn't have everyone's best interests at heart, so she wants to go back and help the country as best she can. And also, she wants to be the person to appropriately pray to um, Rohan in, 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 in Marlin, because he doesn't have someone to actually pray for the blessing. Unlike Uno in, in the Aquapolis, who has the priest.
Um, but yeah, I mean, it's all to say that she does. She just she had to leave because apparently uh, Squire's Pact is imperfect. Even though they said previously in the game that previous shepherds, just like lords can have subwords, shepherds can have squires. So why can't Saray have a squire? Because the game can't let you have more than six playable characters, and Rose occupies the spot of a second human. Here we are, Glavin Basin. Be it. Oh, you think? Do not lose sight of what you believe to be true and good in your heart. You don't need to worry so much about me. I'll be fine. Oh shit! I just remembered. See, this is one of the annoying things about the game because of is how it treats fucking. Oh my gosh, I hate it. So, uh, how it treats party members. There's a boss fight coming up, and I think this is the boss fight where you actually learn Mystic Arts, where you're actually allowed to start using them. Um, the thing is that the leash is gone. You're just Saray, so you have to beat the boss with only Saray and one Seraph on your side. And as we know from previous experience with this game, I've not been having a good time fighting bosses. I've actually been kind of getting my butt kicked. I lost to that plant boss like four times before I finally beat it. So, uh... This place has great music, by the way. Like, all the time. This place has, like, I think two different theme songs because you come here twice for very, very, very important plot reasons. This is the first time. Uh, this is a normal theme for this area. When you come back later, uh, the new theme it gets is even better. So you came, Shepard. This is the general guy. And I don't Lucas even know who he is. Setting up an ambush on the right flank. Like I said last stream. Come back here, Shepard. You will be leading the charge front and center with the... Hey, Shepard! Obey my orders! Have you forgotten that this is my battlefield? What I have to do does not change. No matter whose battlefield it is. What can one brat like him even hope to accomplish? Have the Chancellors gone deaf? Come! We're going to... I don't know his name. I do not know that man's name. I don't think they introduced him. And if they did, they said the name once, and I immediately forgot. But here's the thing. When he first appeared last stream, I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? And I'm like, oh, wait, no, I remember you. But that should tell you a lot. He is another of the supporting characters, if you can even call him that, who is completely I irrelevant. Because I don't even remember him. Uh, I think he only ever has roles when you come to Glavin Basin the two times, and that's it. I don't think he plays any other role in the game. He's just an asshole. That's really it. That's his character in a nutshell. He's just an asshole. Oh, hey, look. It's uh, wavy arms. Don't get careless out there. Leave them alone and let this call for more. What do you mean against fire? Where's fire? Be on alert for the axe beaks jump attacks, even though it can't fly. That's ice. Either. This is the part of the game where it's just it, it's just ridiculous. There's absolutely no reason why I can't have two more allies. Because look at my character screen. We have four characters. Why am I only fighting with two? The fights immediately become a lot tougher because there's less of you. 
And it's like, oh, but you can swap allies on the fly in battle. You can even swap the computer ally as much as you want. Like, but that doesn't fix the basic problem that there's not enough people. Focus, Especially because unlike other Tales games... Unlike other Tales games, in this one, uh, they crowd the battlefield. You can fight like up to like 10 enemies at times. And even if they're weak, if you're fighting 10 enemies with two enemies, with two allies only, it becomes a clusterfuck, because they're just like all hitting you and interrupting all your attacks. And there's not enough of you to cover for that many enemies. trying my best. Okay, so these are uh, normal soldiers. I think they're rolling. See, yeah, actually, the armor. What are they weak against? Water. Okay. Freezing strike should do it. Yeah, music's a little somber, but it's really good. I mean, what do you expect? We're on the... Oh. Ready, Mikleo, the fight. I don't know where this man came from. I think another crazy thing is that your allies don't even use healing items. Or at least I haven't noticed them do it this game. I don't know if there's like a setting I can edit in the menu to have them do that. Because I'm tired of doing all the healing myself. interesting that I honestly don't remember that it's been like I didn't hit on it enough when it first happened because I was distracted but it's interesting that the mystic art cut-ins are full body Time for battle. but I guess to counter that they only have one cut-in uh, not all tales games had it but most tales games usually have two cut-ins they have one for just the face and another for the full body and they're both two different images for this game, they kind of, when you do a Mystic Art, it starts with like a face cut in, but then it reveals like a full portrait. And it's the same for both Mystic Arts. So whether you're using uh, uh, Bolt Tempest or Divine Wrath, the art is the same. So, I mean, which, which kind of sucks a little bit. Like, the art looks great. It's just I like having two different ones. I think Vesperia did it the best, because the second Mystic Arts, not only do they have a full body cut in, but they're also animated. Which is awesome. Yes, Lila needs to level up a lot more, she's behind. Because she kept, as, a, as it happened last stream, she kept dying. When uh, we were trying to, when we were fighting bosses, and bosses generally guarantee a level up to give you a bunch of EXP, 
But Lila kept dying. And so every time we beat a boss, she'd miss out on the EXP. Really sucks. So one of my favorite cu uh, cutscenes in the game is coming up. Can't wait to get I've talked about it already before, so maybe you'll recognize it when you see it. Maybe. Yeah, that's weird. There is no way to. Huh. There's a healing option here, but it doesn't say anything about using items. a difficult battle let's restore our vitality that is not <laughs> that's not a good thing you know honestly not to be that guy but it really isn't a good thing we should be able to spot lucas's team from the top of that cliff yeah the enemy will never notice the ray the mercenary's flank attack was a failure fall back to rejoin the main forces hurry while there's still time what Hey, Okinius, what's up? You're just going to abandon Lucas's team? If we don't take advantage of their sacrifice, more troops are gonna die out there. But they're still fighting out there! Welcome to war, kid. Well, aren't you just Let's sunshine go. and rainbows? He's just doing a soldier's duty. It seems cruel, but you can't hold it against him. Dang it! Let's go get Lucas back then. I mean, we can do it ourselves. We don't need this shit. I mean, defense healing is there, He's but I, none of the pointless. stat the options say anything about items. Flowing with people's anger and hatred. That's why it feels hard to breathe. Battlefields are the cauldrons where malevolence is brewed. Hey, there's Lucas. I'm sure he'll be fine. There! Going? You bet. I'm counting on you guys. Loose raw brulee. Oh! Howdy, y'all. Don't worry. I'll go easy on you. Yeah, we'll see about that. Who's La Boule? Okay. I don't think uh, he ever announced that. I don't think he announced the best of the game. Or maybe he did. What was. What's her name? Oh, jeez, they keep coming. Uh, Edna, I don't remember her. I know the best Mioma. If you think I know. Dazzles and Sabi, you guys might think I'm, I don't know. Uh, uh, As the Shepherd, I have too much power. I don't even stand a chance. So Ray, slip up and you're done for. I know! Oh dear. It's the Ray Shep. Guys are folding like paper. They 
really do not stand a chance against me, do they? And they're all so focused on- well, I mean, I guess they can't see the Sarah, so they're not attacking me. That's probably what it is. That's a- that's cool gameplay and story integration right there, right? These guys are literally ignoring my allies because they can't see them. <laughs> True. Yeah. Too bad for them, they... How could he do this much with just a sword? Misunderstanding what's happening. What the hell? Something blocked me! A m monster What's going on here? The shepherd! Step aside. Ugh. Archers! Is this the shepherd's true power? Lucas, let's go. Uh, uh, yeah. Retreat! Troops of Rollins! What the hell? There's a voice in my head! Who the hell are you? I won't ask again! Retreat! Do you see why I like this cutscene? Uh, uh. I'm really glad you're safe. Saray, they'll understand someday. That's right. Thanks. Even if it is just a pat on the back gonna cry nope you're not finished yet it's like what you saw there is exactly what this game's trying to whoops didn't mean to touch the mic oh shit we're not done yet It's over. Not yet. We still have to quell the Hellions that were created here. Saray. Well, I guess I'll stick with you just this once. Thank you, Miklia. They did get poked pretty hard. I mean, these guys have deadly sticks. So yeah, so why I like that cutscene very, very much uh, when he was rescuing Lucas is because it 
it illustrates what everyone else because like you're playing the game as Soray, so you know everything. But the cutscene shows why everybody else uh, reacts to Soray in such a way and why the shepherd is seen as such a legendary figure in this world. Because to everybody else, it looked like any attack done to Saray just it was just he was just stopping it without doing anything. The rain of arrows, they were all knocked away. The guys trying to stab him in the back, they were all knocked away. Like a single sword swing could knock down like six people. And it doesn't make any sense to anybody that any single person could do that. It makes sense to us because we know it's not oops. That's not good. Cause, oh my gosh, that is very not good. Because we know it's not any single person. Okay. I am not gonna do this fight. I do not. I am not in. Uh, I'm not in a good position for dangerous encounters. So let's just uh, run away until we can escape. There we go. Okay. There. That's better. are going well. Yeah, so I mean, I, that's just what I'm going to say about that cutscene. I just really like it for that reason. It's a good illustration of why it is that Shepard commanded so much respect in the past. So if I say, to catch you up, Akinius, uh, Saray to everybody in the game looks like a normal guy, capable of doing crazy things. In reality, he just has a bunch of friends that no one else can see. Really? Definitely weird. You're also really weird. So like Mikleo, Lila, and Edna here, uh, no one can see them. Nobody. Uh, they might as well be invisible, because they are. And uh, uh, oh yeah. The white form that Saray took is uh, called armatization. And that happens when he fuses with his Seraph partner, and it gives him a lot more power. So let's try it now. Purification complete. Also makes me very powerful. Please, Edna. Some of the best cutscenes, it's true. He sees dead people. Kinda. Yeah, yeah, the game looks pretty good. Although I will say right now, the reason I'm playing this game again now, uh, it's it's a it's a little bit of a long I played this game originally a, a, over a year ago. Like almost exactly a year ago was when I originally played and beat this game. Um After I beat the game. I was left felt feeling incredibly unsatisfied. Like the game is pretty good, I will say, but the ending and the final act sucks. And uh, like after beating the game, I talked to my sister and we had a long discussion of it. And basically, it all ended with me not liking the game. Like really, I'm like, like it's okay. I ended up, I don't know what I would give it, maybe like a five out of ten. Like the first half of the game is great, and the second half it just kind of all falls apart. And I'm playing it again to see if uh, I still believe that. That's really the whole thing. And so far I have been having fun, and I do enjoy like the opening acts of the game. I think they're pretty great. With a few uh, issues here and there. But the only, the only reason that I see them as issues is because I know all the context of the future of the story. So like I know that, hey, this thing they're all talking about doesn't matter. Like, spoiler alert.
That's why I'm playing it. I don't think it's a bad game. Like, terrible. I just have issues with certain things. Why don't we take a rest and eat some but I mean, I guess it depends because of the kind of person I am when I play games. Especially RPGs. I I get I want to get invested and care about stories. There's a lot of people I know who don't really care about that. It's like, well, the game has to be fun and that's it. They don't care if uh, the story sucks or whatever. Um, but for me, it's a little bit of both. Like, Tales of games I already know are going to be great. They're super fun to play. Um, and so for that, that means that the only other aspect of it that can really change how I view it is the story it tells, the characters. And, uh... When it comes to characters in the game or in any property, there's like three factions. There's the protagonist, the antagonist, and the supporting cast. In order to make your game great, you ideally need all those to be good. Like Xenoblade Chronicles, it's a very easy example. The protagonist, the antagonist, and the supporting cast are great in Xenoblade Chronicles. The original Xenoblade Chronicles so I'm talking about. Xenoblade 2 is good too, but I'm just using the first one as an example. Uh, although, I mean, I guess you're more familiar with Xenoblade 2, Akinius, but basically yeah you need good heroes good villains and good supporting cast this game has good heroes shitty villains and a supporting cast that they pretend doesn't exist and that right there is a big issue of the game Like seriously, the good guys are great, the bad guys are terrible, and then uh, the supporting cast could be good, but they just don't use them. Like not nearly enough that they should, in my opinion. Shulk! True. It's Turters or nothing. Yeah, never forget, Turters is the real hero. So I know a boss is coming up, that's why I'm like, training. I don't know how much it'll help, but any, any, any little bit. It always manages to call back up no matter how quickly I try to kill it. I really want to play Tales of Celia and Tales of Celia too. Like those and Berseria are the ones I want to hit up next. Because I already played Berseria last year. I played Vesperia not too long ago. I could use something to eat. So this is a battlefield? Yes. The centuries may pass, but here at least the scenery is ever the same. People lose their humanity here. You're more right than you think. The fools people call heroes or whatever are mostly just hellions. There is no place more ideal for breeding malevolence and passing it on to humans than a battlefield. And yet, those who make a name for themselves there are heroes, huh? Hellions would really fit them better. There was... Let's see. Dindrain, the general of a hundred victories. King Meliodas, who united the continent long ago. Yeah, those are definitely names that'll come up in history books. And King Claudin, who ended the era of darkness? What about him? He's... different. I'm told Claudin was in fact a shepherd, actually. Oh, really? Shepherds and Hellions. They've always been with us. I just didn't know it. Also, by the way, they wasted, they didn't waste, but they already used the shepherd joke, so if you're thinking of any shepherd jokes, it's too late. They used it twice, and uh, it's done. We're good. No shepherd jokes are necessary. Because one of the characters, like, uh, was mocking Srey and telling you, yeah, whatever, your sheep will follow, something like that. And then there was another scene where uh, Srey was sick, and after he got better, um... Uh, Mikleo was like, the last thing we need is a sick shepherd. And Sarei was like, that'd be bad. So, you know, no, no, no shepherd jokes. We're done. 
We've already overstayed our welcome. Two is too much. Just letting you know. We're good. Uh, my comics, you mean. The ones that I used to do long ago. Although Pete does comics too. Pete draws so many awesome and very cute little comics about video games and shit. It's all awesome. Mainly Fire Emblem, but he does a lot of stuff. Right, Pete? I think he wanted to do some Pokemon too, right? That was actually pretty decent. Must have been, if you're complimenting me. You should do more things. Fire Emblem Hero stuff you do is really great. It's hilarious. Make sure everything is on for everybody. I think that's all the enemies. Wait, there's still one more over there. No, there's two more. This is fate. And the crazy thing about this uh, this game, not this game, this uh, we had this game in a way, is when I looked at my completed file, uh, I think during my second stream it was, I, I beat the game in like 50 hours, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? That's it? Like, it's kind of crazy. Every time I play an RPG, like, the benchmark for me is 60. That's like the default, kind of like, this is how long an RPG generally tends to be. So the fact that it was shorter was kind of nuts. And I mean, it'd be, it'd be alright if it was shorter if I felt accomplished after beating it, but I didn't. Like, I felt like that's it. I don't know, I mean, I, I'm really interested to get towards the end game because I want to know if I still feel the same way about uh, how the how we transition into the end game because gosh, it's, it was such a weird feeling to have. It was the first time I ever felt that way. Hey, okay, that's all of them. Alright, that's everything. I don't think there's a save point in here, which uh, kind of sucks. If there is, I don't see it. Any plants in the ground? That's another enemy I'm gonna ignore. Plants. I, I know, I know, I already did the purifying. I just wanna make sure that I don't miss any plants. Plants are very important. All right then, let's go. Gosh, it's so much faster than me. That's not fair. That's four feet. Oh, you are? Ah. I mean, it has been a while since we talked, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised you got something done already. That's cool. Or at least you're starting off at the very least. That's something. Uh-oh. Oof. 
This would be bad. Once again, I shouldn't really be so all that surprised that Lila died. She is the lowest level one. I'll let you handle this, Mikleo. I'm busy. I was waiting to see if fuck. Ready, everyone. I was actually doing much better in there than I thought I would. Too late now. We ran away. What? He's still at Who's it. still at it? Exterminate them! Don't let a single one escape! General, the battle is already over! The shepherd is naive as you'd expect. The more rats we crush as they scurry away, the fewer they'll have in our next battle. Surely that isn't necessary. It doesn't seem like there's any use trying to reason with him. It was thanks to you, Shepard, that we were able to pull off such a rout. Show us a little more pride. <laughs> yeah. You better not forget the promise you made to release Alicia. He's vile even by human standards. You think? The way things are here, it won't make a difference no matter how many Hellions we purify. I agree. We should get far away from here until things settle down. Fine. Oh boy, you know what that means. Actually, you guys don't know what that means. I know what that means, though. I can sense the What's ancient tongue. Point? Hit points. Wow, we? really? You're gonna tell me about HP at this point in the game? You're not kidding. Such intense malevolence. It can't be. What is this? Saray, there's only one person in existence who could have this powerful and evil of a domain. Demise. You don't mean the Lord of Oh, Calamity? well, that too. Remember when we learned about him? Here he is now. It looks like the humans are starting to lose their minds. We have to stop this. Wait. No, we don't yet have the strength to face this threat. I'm aware. I'll run if things turn bad. Your lives are on the line too. Yeah, that's typical. <laughs> I love Edna. Gosh, I can't wait to play Final Fantasy VII again. Uh, I already, I already beat it a long time ago, like 100%. But it's coming out. It's already out on Switch. I'm definitely gonna pick it up at some point. I'm excited. But yes, Ganondorf, demise, or the Lord of Calamity, whatever. Uh oh. No. That's his name. Too late. You're really going to fight him in that condition? Everyone, stand with me! Oh boy, here we go. Boss fight, you know what that means? I'm probably gonna get my ass handed to me. What's he weak against? Oh right, he resists all elements except for a void. 
So non elemental attacks can do good. And wind would be good too, but I don't have my wind seraph yet. We're not getting Kerber for it for uh, like a few more minutes. I mean, well, maybe half an hour. Breakdown. Oh, wait, no, he resists water. I forgot. I mean, I didn't forget. His sword range is dumb. Ready? Get up, figures. They're way too tough. We'll never win if we hold back. Saray, are you trying to armatize? Yeah. I'm going to concentrate all of my power on this sword. Tiger Blade! Strike! It's time! Powering Blade! There we go. And yeah, that's when you officially learn, uh, Mystic Arts. I could do it at any time, though, because I cheated. <laughs> well, I have a new game plus. I actually need to land the hit, and I can't when he has super armor on. There we go. Nailed it. You bastards! The malevolence isn't disappearing? It's no use. The strength of his domain is far greater than that of my powers of purification. Tingle's so close enough, source, you think? Huh? Good luck. There's no way you can expel the Lord of this domain. We have to. It's dangerous! Lila, please! If we don't do it, this battle will This is the final end. boss we're talking about, Sarai. You can't just skip. It looks like the skip. heart of the malevolence is on top of that hill. Sorry. Save the apology. This isn't where any of us plan on dying. Yeah, Mikleo. Okay, That's I said spirit. you can't skip, but there's something really funny about that so you all have to hear. You have to hear this. Right. But we're gonna wait until after I fight, uh, this man. The so-and-so so, so -so Lord of Calamity. So which way do they want me to go? This way? Hellionized <laughs> soldiers. We can't win this like last time! And it's not only because we're a bit tired. These soldiers may already be affected by malevolence. Every single one of them? So Ray, we can't last like this. Have a little faith in me, I'm the main character. I'm top tier. This has got to be one of the only games I've ever actually put any interest into enemy resistances and weaknesses. And that's because they keep it super simple. And it's just, it's, in, it's done in such a way that I don't actually mind thinking about it. Uh, because once again, uh, there's only five elements. It's void, water, fire, earth, and wind. And you have four seraphs who are all specifically attuned to certain elements. So Mikleo's water, Edna's earth, Lila's uh, fire, Dezel, and Zavid are wind. And then Rose and uh, Saray are void. And so it's just really easy. It's like, oh, this enemy resists this, and let's not use this character at all. And uh, to mix that up, of course, uh, Rose and... Saray have access to elemental arts as well within their art chart so that you can whip those out when you need to. So like right here you can see that Tiger Blade counts as, I think it's Tiger Blade, is it Tiger Blade? 
No, yeah, yeah. Tiger, no, Tiger Blade, not. Uh, Freezing Strike counts as water. It has a little water symbol right there. Uh, Sword Flare counts as fire. True Fang counts as wind. You know, and so, and Earth Dragon Fang counts as earth. So if you fight an enemy that is weak to one of these elements, you can work your way through the flow chart to get to that specific attack. And then using it will break their guard. And then from then on, it's just a matter of beating the shit out of them and keeping their guard broken. Because all the other characters all have, uh, just one element and some of their moves might have more but they, they primarily focus on that so it can be seen a little weird oops no i didn't do anything wrong okay it can be seen a little Ooh, i got crimson edge now one two three four five six uh what do i want to replace for crimson edge edge sonic thrust shadow shock i don't use shatter fang a lot let's do that so crimson edge is fire and wind so that's cool see you, you get me i've never really been one to strategize or care because this game has it so obvious, like Miklio is water. So if you have a weak water enemy, use Miklio. If you don't, don't use Miklio. It's very easy. It's very easy to understand. For someone like me who uh, does not strategize ever. Anyway, how is everyone? Is the stream good? I meant to ask this earlier. But, you know, volume's good. It looks good. It's not too choppy. I actually dropped my bitrate a bit again. Because usually when I stream using Elgato, I keep the bitrate at 2,000. But Elgato was crashing like crazy, so I swapped to OBS. I didn't want OBS to crash, so I actually dropped the capture to 1,900 instead of 2,000. Yeah, I would like to know if the volume's good or not. I have the game audio at like minus 40, and I have myself at minus 2. And the reason I lower myself is so that the mic doesn't sound super horrible. And doesn't catch things I don't want it to catch. the top volume of everything? What do you mean by that? Oh, huh. Let me see. What can I do about that? The master volume? I mean, I don't have a master volume on OBS. I have my mic, and then I have Elgato. Unless you mean maybe like the capture TV or something. I don't know. Really? Alright then, well I bumped up the mic and I bumped up Elgato a bit and then the game's a little louder on my end but I don't think that's what we need let me, let me see the game's audio maybe that's it well, I mean everything's pretty loud the more stars the louder epic Catch every dramatic nuance. Make the neighbors resent you. Groovetastic. Wow. Well, there. I have all the... Volume settings at max now. Alright, just, uh, I want to make sure that uh, you can hear me and the game. And I don't want it to be loud, lo so low that you need to have your volume at max in order to hear it. That would suck. Ow. I keep forgetting, I say that I don't have wind, but I do have a, like two moves that have wind element, so... Next time I should probably focus on that. 
So I don't actually need to train because the upcoming fight is one you can't win. But, you know. Old habits. It's a video game. I hope everything's actually much better. Like, I, that you don't need to have the volume at 100 to hear everything, because that sucks. Like, I love Ray, I love watching his streams, but uh, it is pretty funny that you listen to the stream and it all sounds good, but then I swap over to another video and, like, my ears are bleeding. Because I didn't realize that in order to listen to Ray's stream, I had to bump the volume up to max. And so I swapped to another video, and uh oh. Oh my gosh, the demise! I found the mines. You must be. So another shepherd is born at last. He is gigantic. Lila, right. Back miss me over. Sorry. Everything's going well. How brilliant your purity, your innocence. No painter could ask for a more pristine. Do we actually fight him here? I don't think we do. No, we do not. Listen well, young shepherd. My name is Heldolf. I wonder how much longer you will live. <laughs> what in the world was that? Uh, Miglio? Lila! Edna! Huh? Miglio! <laughs> Who were they? Where did they come from? This day couldn't get any better, right?
Best day ever, I'd say, right? <sighs> You save me? Miklio! That man with the lion's head, what did he do? Someone's coming. We gotta get out of here. Off we go. So as if it wasn't clear enough for uh, anyone who was still in the not know, uh, the Sparrow Feathers, the um, the merchants. Guild isn't just the Merchants Guild! Oh no, how did you not see that coming? What was what was the Assassin's Guild name? I don't remember. Damn it, it was, the, it was uh, Bones something. Something Bones. Crossbones? No. Oh my gosh, I don't remember. But anyway, hey everyone, it's Rose. She's back. She's awesome. The best character in this game. All right, no problem, man. Have a great time working on that thingy. Yes, now we got Rose with us. Yay! But we lost everybody else. Yay! Hey, you awake? So, you're the leader of that assassin's group. Surprised? Well, sure. What should I call you? Rose will do just fine. And hey, why didn't you leave me behind? You're in danger. I couldn't not help you. Even knowing I was an assassin? I could just as easily ask what an assassin like you was doing rescuing me. I don't know. I'll have to decide later if it was really the right decision. But I can tell you're a good person. Huh? Be careful. Someone's watching us. Okay. Hey, let's head north. There's a ruin off that way that we're currently using as a hideout. Oh, you're not worried our pursuers might find it? Nah, we'll be fine. Uh, want me to set you down? I'm good. This will give them a false sense of security. <sighs> also, I mean, who says no to free piggyback rides, right? Boss! Isn't that... the shepherd? Howdy, y'all. I'll explain later. We were followed, so I let him here. Now comes the fun part. <laughs> hey, stop! Are you really going to kill them? Depends who they are. I just don't like the idea of someone like Rose being a murderer. Hey! Off we go. Yes, we lost all our allies, and now we're hanging out with assassins. Weird. Weird how things work, isn't it? Huh? Who are you guys? Just bratty little kids. I mean, I would kill them. You've got the wrong people if you're looking for stragglers. As you can see, we're no soldiers. Get going. And you better quit hunting soldiers! What a stupid mess. 
I swear Rollins has gone mad. What is the Empire thinking? The Princess manages to keep Hyland's crazies in check, and then Rollins up and blows the whole thing apart. What the hell? Yeah, Rollins is to blame, sort of. Now we've got those poor kids resorting to looting and banditry. Guess they're growing up tough. You got something to say? No. Listen, we may be an assassin's guild, but that doesn't mean that we just run around killing everyone. No one sees Starblade unless they need it. Then what about me? Don't worry, you won't wake up with a dagger in your back. But know this, Saray. If the Shepherd turns out to be a force for evil that leads people astray, we won't hesitate to kill you. Remember that. <laughs> Bet you're sorry you saved me now. But wait a minute, boss. How will we know for sure? Hmm, good question. <laughs> huh? Sorry, this whole thing is just sort of ridiculous. You saying? Well, our hideout's this way. Let's rest up for a bit. We'll skulk around and check for any other pursuers in the area. Thanks. You're the best. That's all assassins do is they skulk. Alright then, off we go. Back to the assassins hideout. Where I'm sure everything will be fine. I think it is. Yeah. From what I remember of what happens in this part of the game, I think it's okay. We'll save the dying for later. I mean, Saray likes ruins, so this is a nice place to hole up in. We'll probably do some studying in the me in the meantime, while everything else is going to shit. I just love having the little baul on my arm. It's very great. Hasn't really ruined anything for me. Old man Maven. Nice to see you again. Hey, Maven. I forgot about this. I didn't forget. The shepherd I've heard so much I was actually about. waiting when he came My up. My name is Saray. How did you know I was the shepherd? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Anyone could tell just by looking at you. This is Maven. He's not with the guild, but we owe him a whole lot. He's an explorer, and yes, they still make <laughs> Sometimes. Cool. Explorer. I just like to travel where I please, tracing the footsteps left in this. The Celestial Wrecker! Yeah, he has a book too. <laughs> Milady, I was worried when I heard that war had broken out. Will you be alright? Hmm, I think we'll ditch this hideout. Might pass on jobs for a while too, till this all blows over. I hope I didn't cause this. A shepherd who worries for an assassin's guild? You are quite a strange one. Seriously. Everyone keeps calling Anyways, him strange. I should take my leave as well. Huh? Already? Don't get too comfortable, lass. The appearance of the shepherd, new clouds of war, the winds of change are fast approaching. Yeah, I sense it too. Saray, since you took the trouble to come here, why not see if you can solve the riddle of the ruins back there? Huh? What do you mean? These ruins aren't mentioned in the Celestial Record. The same goes for several other shrines and legends. And yet, it is far from a difficult task to unearth them. Don't you think there must be something more to it? You can't fathom the true meaning of legends. Until you've seen their history with your own eyes. You're appealing to Saray's sense of adventure. Saray, well let us meet again. You too, my lady. Yeah, another time. So long, old man. Now go on, get inside. I like Maven. I think... 
Huh. I'm trying to figure out a graph for the supporting characters in this game. Uh. <sighs> I'm beat. That's enough for one day. Just use the bed and back whenever you want. Thanks, Rose. Don't go running off anywhere just yet. We gotta make sure it's safe first. Hate to watch her go, but love to watch her leave! Sorry. I just, I had to. I was not gonna, I, that spin on my, uh, oh my gosh. I've been thinking about saying that for like the last 30 minutes. Hey, we assassins and merchants. They're all one and the same. Oh yeah, Pendrago. I forgot about that place. I think, is that where we're going next? I don't think it is. Let's see if I got any new stuff I could put on. Azure blue. Calcite earrings. Natural waistcoat plus four. Void ring plus I think we're good. So if I remember correctly, there's like a bunch of panels on the floor that I can step on to trigger something. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Next act of the game. We've met the Lord of Calamity, Helda, Hel Heldalf, and uh, we are now set to move on. And decide what our next destination is going to be, which uh, we'll get to that once we talk to Rose and everything else. And get some help from good old assassins and merchants. Hello. Is that the ladies' room? Is this the men's room? I don't know. I can't tell. There's no labels or anything. So the depths of the ruins are just beyond here, huh? Looks like it's sealed off. Sealed off for now. Damn it, Sir Wraith. You need to be more careful out there. Poor Shepard, all alone. How vexing. We're right here, yet he can't hear us. You guys! Sir Wraith, are you back to normal now? Oh, thank goodness. I was really freaked out when you guys all suddenly disappeared. So that lion head guy held off. What on earth did he do back there? Haven't you ever thought about what happens when two domains overlap? Which one's blessing would be the most effective? What do you mean? The domain you cast as a shepherd lost to the domain of the one you faced against back there. And that was enough to momentarily paralyze Saray's resonance? It's to be expected. That corrupted domain of his is stronger than that of even a dragon. Heldolf. Is... 
Is he the Lord of Calamity? It sure looks like it. No one other than the Lord of Calamity could be cloaked in such malevolence. Well, there's got to be some reason. Some story behind why he came to hold such malevolence and power. You got that right. Something like that doesn't just happen naturally. I would not challenge him again without first finding the answer and understanding the truth. Oh, Saray! Are you talking to yourself? No. I, uh, my friends are here with me. Huh? <laughs> They're, um, Seraphim. Is this a bad time? Should we come back? Lila, think she could hear you if we did the usual trick? All right, let's try. All right, just like we did with Alicia. <laughs> She's so cute. Uh, hey. Just try and focus, Rose. Rose, can you hear? Yeah, easy, Rose. <laughs> oh, Edna, you ruined everything. Uh oh. <laughs> Guess you really pushed her buttons, Mr. Shepherd. Yeah, the boss can't handle that kind of stuff. I... I see. Make yourself at home, Shepard. Just give a holler if you need something. But for now, we'll need you to hang around for a bit. Till we can decide what to do with you. I almost forgot that. Once, uh... Once, uh... Uh... uh Saray asked if they could do what they did with uh, Alicia. I was like, oh, right. Rose is scared of ghosts. Gosh, she's adorable. Hey, that's... Yeah, Desi. What? Oh. He blends in somehow, even though he's in complete white. Hey, Desi. There's something I wanted to ask you. Funny you should say that. I'd like to ask you something, too. What's that ability you've got that envelops you in the power of the Seraphim? You mean the Armatus? It's called the Armatus, huh? So, that's it. You think I can get one as well? The Armatus is a fusion of the Shepherd and a Seraph acting in unison. It's the combination of both powers working in tandem. It isn't something that can be obtained. That sounds like a real hassle. But I'll admit, it is strong. I don't get you. What is it you're after? Just weighing the situation and seeing if it's connected to my personal agenda. There's one last thing I wanted to ask you. That girl, Rose. Do you think she could enact the power of the Armatus? It may be possible for her. She does seem to have the latent aptitude for it. Huh. But the way she is now, not a chance. She could have all the natural affinity in the world, but she denies the Seraphim. Whose fault is that? <laughs> I wonder. Guess he's not willing to listen to us. I never did understand those wind Seraphim. Right? So, a seraph who desires the There's only mass. two wind seraphim in this entire game, and they're both just weird. Dezel and, uh, and Zavid. Lily White reputation. I mean, yeah.
Yeah, hey, there was Dazzle. Oh, they will say last stream after you left, we did meet Dazzle oh. one more time. Where are you going? Well, I was thinking of going back to the battlefield. You must be joking. You want your resonance to get blocked off again? We can't just sit around twiddling our thumbs. I need to learn more, and I can't do it here. No and no, it's too dangerous. The Shepherd must do something about the Lord of Calamity. I'm the Shepherd, so I have to go. Isn't that true? No. Huh? Do not be impatient, Sarai. <sighs> I'm pretty sure we've told you what the result will be if you lose yourself. If the Shepherd allows malevolence to corrupt him, the world will be plunged into unimaginable chaos. That's right. Never forget that. There are some things we won't know until we try. That's true enough. But now's not the time to tempt fate. Very true. What you need most now is a chance to rest. Hey, how about this? Why don't we explore the deeper part of the ruins here? I'm legitimately curious as to what Maven was talking about. Did you say ruin exploring? A novel idea. Let's do just that, shall we? Well, she's on board. Could be fun. All right! The boys are back in town. Yes. <laughs> Someone's got his mojo back. Wasn't he supposed to be getting some rest? Rest from being a shepherd, anyway. Let's go check it out. All right. I like this part. This part's fun. And not just because we get to hang out with Rose a lot, even though we do get to hang out with Rose a lot. But yeah, we get to hang out with Rose a lot, and that's a strong so point first, in favor. We've got to do something about this door. No one here has a clue how to open the darn thing. Fortunately, we didn't care much either. Howdy. Any ideas? I'm not sure. We'll have to examine it first. Okay. What? Oh, nothing. Just seeing how the shepherd works his magic. Don't mind me. She's going to wait for you to do something weird again. Rose isn't taking her eyes off you. <laughs> Man, she sure is weird. <laughs> yeah, talking to you guys makes me paranoid she's going to punch me again. Oh, you think? <laughs> What's so funny? You too. She was screaming and you were panicking and then pow! <laughs> Revel in my pain, why don't you? sealed off entrance there must be a reason behind it but it doesn't look like any ordinary seal there's not even a keyhole fancy a wager for old time's sake oh you're on <laughs> i'll find a way to open it way before you do your track record against me thus far indicates otherwise so actually that scene once again much like how when we first met edna we first met david and we first met miklio that scene when it was panning, uh, when the camera's panning across rows. Oh, actually, wait, I didn't mean to hit that. This is dumb. Here, I'll just smash it open. Don't you dare! This is a precious historical. I'm not talking to you, Bebo. Yeah, when the camera was panning up Rose, she was actually uh, in her outfit, her actual story outfit. Completely unaware of Devil, but. Um, because I had swapped her outfit to her merchant outfit last time I played the game, she has the merchant outfit now. Wonder what really is 
behind that door. Oh, you're interested in ruins too, Rose? As if. What I am interested in is you. No, oh, really? As if. Like I said, knock yourself out. Sure, I'll break everything. So the reason we can't get in there is because there's one more switch I didn't push. Boop. And now we're done. At least I think, unless I missed one. Because after I woke up, they like reset all of my things. So I hit that one. Yeah, there's a star there now, so I think that was all of them. Alright, let's go see what's in here. That's what was interfering with the door's rotation, huh? <laughs> Looks like I win this. She time. want that shepherd. Pete, control yourself. All right, let's do this. Oh, you're coming too? Yep, I'm in if you are. Rose, there may be beasts lurking inside that are so powerful, people will consider them monsters. I refer to these creatures as Hellions. Okay. Listen. Yeah, yeah, Hellions, blah, blah, something, something, powerful. I'm listening. I'm saying it'll be dangerous. And I'm saying if you're fine, I'm fine. You've seen what I can do. Come on. I was bored out of my gourd anyway. Hey! No, oh, and he's just coming too. I'm going to keep her from causing you folks any trouble. But wait, Dezel, you can't purify the Hellions. <laughs> <sighs> if it comes to it, we'll bail them out. Indeed, this is our first ruin expedition in some time. Let's enjoy it. Some vacation this is. I don't know if this is a spoiler, because I don't, but um. I'm not sensing much malevolence. All the better. This ought to be a fine adventure. You remember when we fought that random female assassin at the side of the cliff and that battle was really hard and I think I almost died? I don't remember if I did. Yeah, that was Rose. Uh, obviously, she's the only female assassin who's talked. We've, uh, when we see the assassins and there's a woman talking, it's Rose. Uh, I think they'll probably hit on this later in the game. But um, the reason that she's not ever going to talk to us about that, she's going to be like, hey, remember that time I attacked you? It's because it wasn't her. Uh, Dezel was... Uh, What's interfering this? with her and making her attack us. Rose, wait! You can't just go around touching everything you You're the one who told her to do that. Oh, this fight's fun. Okay, I think this this kind of fight's really fun. Cause uh, we're gonna get a bunch of prompts from Rose as she's trying to do something. It's just really great. It didn't take long for everything to fall apart. New record. You think? Stop laughing, Lila. It's no good. There's not even a keyhole. Whoops. Whoops. Don't you whoop me! <laughs> Well, at least I got this working, right? It was a dead end otherwise. <sighs> She's got your number. Huh? I can't move it back. Well, what do I do now? Uh, the other door opened up. I'll go take a look. Stay right there. Where else would I go? <laughs> I'll cool your jets. Oh, great. Gosh, she's so cute. So, uh, obviously... I don't know if I mentioned this before, but one of the uh, best parts about Rose is her voice. Her voice actor is very good at her job, and that is uh, uh, Caitlin Glass. And uh, she, uh, for other people who play the games, uh, she was uh, Elma in Xenoblade Chronicles X. Which, uh, once again, me and X have a very tenuous relationship, but I still maintain that Elma was probably the best part about that game, as mediocre as it was. <laughs> that 
That's classic Edna right there. Alright, let's see if I can find a switch or some shit. Oh, wait, here they are. Well, they're on the floor, but they don't look like they're depressed. The door won't budge. Doesn't look like you can open it from the inside. Yeah, I know that. It's just a depressingly featureless wall. Okay. Oh, found something. Maybe? Darnick. No, nothing. They can't do anything from in here. We'll just have to trust her. Rose is this game's Ryan. Push the wrong button. Say, why don't you invite Rose to join our group? Huh? Where did this come from? I actually agree. She'd be a good partner for you. You too. Remember what Gramps used to say? A true comrade has different sight, but the same vision. A true comrade. Why not? Why not? Plus, Rose's level of resonance is about on par with yours. With Alicia, you both suffered the cost of making her your squire, but this time I think it would be different. Besides, it should be obvious by now that here being the only human can cause problems. Oh, you think? Fighting! Maybe. But I can't involve other people in the Shepherd's duty. So that's what you're worried about, huh? Saray, have your travels thus far brought you nothing but suffering? Well, no. It's had its share of good times as well. Is the Shepherd's destiny tremendous enough to overpower the dream we share? Probably not. You do know what we're getting at, right? Yeah. Not every burden is mine to shoulder. The responsibility you feel is definitely a good thing. But at the same time, you must walk the path in life that is meant for you. Try to walk everyone's path and your legs will tangle up. So you're saying I've got to figure out my own way of doing things. But that's all the more reason to have friends to support you, right? True. Though it'll be up to her in the end. Before anything, we'll need to sit down with her and get her to understand us. That'll go over well. Yeah, it went over very well last time. Nothing we can do but wait till she gets very well. They ship it. Yeah, I was got this. I was about to say the same thing. I can't believe we're just hanging around like this. But you can look around and imagine ages long past. That's the thrill of ruin exploring. I wouldn't know. I hardly ever get trapped like this. I believe I recall rescuing you from a trap or two. Two, maybe. maybe. She's not going to give you any more credit than that. But still, there's something strange about this ruin. Sealed off areas, doors with little windows next to them, and devices inside the room that can be operated from the outside. Oh, an, an experimenting, experimenting room. room. <laughs> ah. <laughs> if this place was for experiments, then it probably doesn't open from this side. We'll have to leave it to Rose. But we could try to investigate the nature of the experiments at least. We don't even know if we can get out of here. It must be nice to live in Saray World. Yeah, you should drop or by. Or... Saray World's great. But yeah, uh, it's really impressive too because Caitlin Glass is Elma. Was uh, she's incredibly serious? Obviously, that's Elma's character. Whereas as Rose, she's a lot more light-hearted, and uh, it's almost impossible to tell. Like it's definitely the voice is just so much more, not high pitched, but just so much happier. It's like Elma was never happy, so it's just great to hear Rose like this. And then El and then and then uh, and then Rose gets serious and becomes Elma. It's, it's pretty great. I do hope she's all right. We just have to trust her and keep waiting. What was that? Whoa! Uh-oh. Okay, here comes the fun part. Get ready for battle! Vermilion, Don't tell me Rose is flipping more switches! She's got a nose for trouble, that's for sure. Don't tell me Rose is flipping more switches. Pull the lever, Rose! Fine, fine. 
<laughs> Oopsie doopsie. She just sees the Hellions as clouds of dust. You're the one who asked. Oh, now status ailments are a thing? Or is it just because I was the first time I've ever been affected by a status ailment? <sighs> that was unexpected. I'm getting a really she's doing her best. <laughs> yeah, she's trying. Miracle of miracles, we agree on something. <laughs> It'll be fine. I think. Rose, please don't hit any more buttons. You're advancing the plot. Oh my gosh, are you serious right now? Did you read what Lila said? Oh. She's late. I should have gone with her. <laughs> did you hear something uh -oh. just now? I sure did. Smoke! Yep, that sucked. <laughs> Come on! Hey, this is serious! Not for me. Smoke's only a problem for humans like you. Have fun. What? Edna, this isn't the time for joking around. Let's just stay composed, everyone. Fine. Saray! Are you okay? Rose, don't get close. I'm fine here. Just look for some other way. <laughs> bad I'm fine, I said. You sure are magnanimous. <laughs> Same as he ever was. <laughs> I've had a lot of practice messing with things at random until something works. Yeah, that's the. I'm really, really sorry. I'll try and find out. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to hurry. I sure hope this experience turns rope. Oh man, I thought they were done talking. I would have loved to hear more of that. It's really I funny. It. Yeah. You almost look excited. Yeah. I hadn't realized, but it's been a while since I've had this much fun. Good. That is a feeling you should cultivate. I've experienced doing things randomly until it works. It opened. I can sense a domain. There's a presence of considerable power here, and this much malevolence, it can only be a Hellion. <coughs> Rose? Hurry! I don't know what's going on! No! A dragon newt? Is it dangerous? It's a young type of dragon. So dangerous is what you mean. Great. Stop it! Stop it! Mugu's gonna crack. Let's do this! Hey! Elliot! I'm over here! Saray? Shepard. If it's too much to handle, run! Right. We just need to buy enough time for those two to escape. Run back! Level 26. It resists everything except wind once again. I'm noticing a pattern. Close enough. I know, I know. But it's all my fault that things ended up like this. I told you to forget about it. <laughs> Saray, see if 
if you can manage without me for a little bit. Huh? Rose. <gasps> so you can hear me now. I'm impressed. Rose, it's okay to be scared. Just hang in there and listen to me. So Ray's like that too. We grew up together, but he still tenses up a little when he sees me. We Seraphim are indeed Saray's friends. And yet, we cannot say for sure if Saray sees and hears the same things we do. Because he's the only human out of all of you? Yes. Saray has no human compatriots who can truly understand the burden he bears as the shepherd. You want me to join him? It's ultimately your call. Hey, what's your name? Nicleo, come here. Come. <laughs> This is a fine how do you do if there ever was one. All right, damn it, I'll prove to you I can do this. Saray, Nicleo, and John. <laughs> what? What's wrong with you? She sees a giant dragon soldier. What do you think is wrong? It looks like she's made up her mind. She did it all herself, too. Lila, I'll buy us some time. You get the Squire's Pack going. But Saray, you have to give her a true name first. We'll kiss Wilk. Huh? That's the true name I'm giving you, Rose. Uh, all right. Wilkis Wilk. Don't charge in like that. Hold out just a bit longer. I know. I'm just buying time. That did it. Can you pick me up, please? This guy hurts a lot. I won't lose this time. Oh, that's not good. Get away from me. Gosh, I'm doing so little damage. He's so strong. That's such a cool way to dodge, honestly. When he's gonna split you in half and then you just break apart in half? Awesome. How much longer do I have to keep going? Lila, get that Squire's pack done. Dezel, do something. With your yo-yo.
are going to bring my armada to life. Dazzle, why are you? When this is all over, we're gonna have a talk. All right, we got Dazzle now. I don't know, does it? <laughs> That's the important question, isn't it? Sarah? Good work out there. Uh, Rose? Uh, uh, Rose! Hey, pull yourself together. Did you think it was Rose? It's me. What? Leave her alone, you maniac. You're quite attached to her, I see. What are you after? Oh, nothing really. Just making sure it was clear to everyone why you wanted to become a sublord. Shepard, allow me to explain. I understand, Dezel. Listen. It seems there's some sort of agenda you want to accomplish with the Armatus, Dezel. That's right. And I'm using you to that end. Deal with it. What is it you want, then? Revenge. Against the Hellion who killed my friend. Tarnished the name of the Windriders, branded them as criminals, and forced them to live out the rest of their lives in secrecy as an Assassin's Guild. Oh yeah? Well in that case you're more than welcome. We love quelling Hellions. <laughs> you mean saving them, in other words. Does that sound like revenge to you? You're out to kill them? <laughs> Lila, how could you invite someone like him to be your sublord? Because of how he is. Dezel is consumed with vengeance, and yet he has not become a Hellion. Because he has a vessel that cannot be corrupted. Rose. I get it. So if Rose were to accompany us by herself, then Dezel would lose his pure vessel, and before long, his lust for revenge would turn him into a Hellion. Don't make me laugh. I'd sooner die than become the same corrupted being as the one who wronged me. You folks forced my hand. But something tells me that you're not too bent out of shape over it. <laughs> I won't deny it. It did give me a sense of the true power of the Armatus, after all. I understand your reasons now. But if you're going with us, you can't be acting like a lone wolf. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll work with you. I'm a crummy seraph, but I'm still a seraph. I've got no reason to oppose what the shepherd Crummy. Does. At least he's honest. True. Well, I guess that's true. But nevertheless, keep what I told you a secret from Rose. She believes that she's come as far as she has with her own ability, without anyone's help. I don't want her to be troubled by the knowledge of what I've been doing behind her back, or the reasons why I did it. Dazzle. Well, that's that. Now we're all best buds, right? Don't toy with her. Make sure she's all right. She's fine. She just passed out from shock. I think you tossing her on the floor like that is what did it. <laughs> Why don't we plan on resting here for a while until Rose wakes up? It looks like the other Seraph still hasn't regained it's a dog. consciousness. Yeah. So that fight was awesome once you get Dezel, Dezel on board. And uh, did you see that, that really awesome mystic art? Uh, I love Sylphistia. It's really cool. Wind Rush. All right, the second skill that you get is Dazzles. The first one you got was Lila's. The second is Dazzle. I think next is Miklio, and then the last one you have is uh, Edna's. Let me tell you something. What? That girl, Rose. She conducts way too much power. 
I was able to enact the armatus and control her body even when she was completely zonked out. What do you mean? She's far too used to the power of the Seraphim. It's probably because Dezel's been secretly interfering from the sidelines for so long. He must have manipulated her on multiple occasions while she was asleep or unconscious. If that weren't the case, there'd be no real explanation for why such power flows through her. So Dezel used Rose to his own ends time and time again? Just to get his revenge? And just as he was hoping, Rose had the ability to enact the Armatus. If she loses consciousness, she can be manipulated freely. He's crafted the ideal vessel out of her. Keep that in mind. Okay. There we go. So that was a confirmation. That the other times that uh, Rose has encountered us as an assassin is probably Dazzle moving her around. What? No. Well, I, I mean, uh, not really. Just... Just what? I, uh... I kind of like having you and Rose around. What? What the hell are you getting at? I mean, I used to think we were the only group of humans in Seraphim who traveled together. It used to be quite a common affair. Even if people couldn't see us, couldn't hear our voices, they could feel us by their side. Together we laughed. Together we cried. Weren't all of the scattered bones like that? Exactly. And so that's why. But hey, know this. We may be working together, but if you get in the way of what I need to do, there will be problems. Shepard or no. At least he's honest. We're becoming quite the family here. Yeah, Rose and Dezel are actually pretty cool. Well, I don't know about Rose, but if Dezel heard that, I'm quite sure he would object. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Exploring these ruins like this gave me some perspective again. I'd gotten too worked up. Thank you, Miklio. You helped yourself. Don't thank me. Yeah, it's a lot like when, uh, when Saray first bonded with, uh, She's fearless in many ways, yet Rose is terrified by the oddest things. Isn't that true? I'm envisioning my future right now. It's a lot more screamy than I really hoped for. Let's hope she doesn't have to meet the Lord of Calamity anytime soon. But when when uh, when Ro uh, Saray first fused with Lila, he was also knocked Deza? out for three days. Well, kind of. If his aim is to kill Hellions, I want to stop him somehow. If it does come to that, the Prime Lord has the authority to restrain the Sublord if he decides to act up. You can do that? Yes, but ideally I'd rather not have to. Though there is a hierarchy between the Prime Lord and Sublord, I'd rather we be friends. Hmm. If Dezel travels along with you, Saray, I'm certain that he'll find some other reason for living besides revenge. He is a Seraph too, after all. Oh, is the dog waking up? Doggy! So you're finally awake. <laughs> Boy, howdy. You really helped me out there. My gratitude to the shepherds and, of course, my seraph brethren. I'm Saray. This is Lila, Edna, Dezel, Miklio, and the one sleeping over there is... That dog is tough. <laughs> She's up. Rose, you're awake. Yep. I am called Oish. Though I may not look it, I'm as much a seraph as any of them. I'm getting a crash course, Mystic Secrets of the Seraphim. <laughs> nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm Rose. Looks like she's used to it. So... Shall we return now that Rose has recovered and awakened? I don't know. She's having so much fun. No screaming and punching? Lame. Lame. <laughs> We're wasting time. Let's head back. Hmm. Hold up! 
We haven't found anything yet. And there's more ruin left to explore. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Yep. Keep going. Adventure time. <laughs> We're not done with our little expedition yet. <laughs> no vacation from this vacation. Then let us proceed further in. So right, they, no problem. Pete. Thanks, I don't keep everyone. going for a long time anyway. All right, Oish. We're going to look around in the ruins a bit more. <laughs> you folks are a blast. And I yes, it talks. Be careful out there. See you later, mystical doggy. Mystical doggy. Oh, uh, yeah, we got Rose. That's a lot of dragons. Are these statues of the eight serpents? No, it can't be. The numbers don't match. But it does look like relics of dragonism. Taking the era into account, it might be logical to assume that the dragonist religion originates from that legend. I can understand the whole deity worship thing, I guess. But why the dragons? Beings of incomprehensible power. Symbols of awe-inspiring terror. Humans probably hoped that praise to such an entity would help them somehow. Oh, shoot. I've been all over, but I've never so much as seen a dragon's footprint. Oh, though I bet that thunder we heard at Rayfalk is enough to inspire dragon legends. That's because that one was real. <laughs> sure. You can go there and verify for yourself. You would probably die, though. What? We, uh, we met a dragon at Rayfalk. It was, uh, Edna's brother. Wait, isn't Edna a seraph? Yep. A dragon is what you get when a seraph accumulates too much malevolence. Uh, it's okay. You don't have to apologize. I agree with you that praying to a dragon is a stupid idea. Harsh. All right, so I'm gonna split the stream right here. We're gonna keep going, but uh, YouTube, the video will end and then move on to the next part. So I'm not uploading like a four hour chunk in one go.